Hi there, Tom DeFalco again, the man, the myth, the pizza. Um, I want to talk to you about Omni this time. Uh, I got a chance to work with Fernando Ruiz, a fabulous artist that I worked with uh, back back in the days in, on Archie Comics. And uh, we did a little story featuring Teenage Omni. And I think, you know, if you've ever enjoyed an Archie comic, uh, and even if you didn't, you might want to check out this, this fun little story. Speaking about Omni, according to the PR, he was one of the first icons recruited by the agency. But this guy's a master manipulator, and he can't believe pretty much anything that he says. So uh, I know that women want to be with him and men want to be like him, but I'm not sure if the agency recruited him or he recruited the agency. And there's something very disturbing about the last page of his first story in the um, anthology. Uh, something very disturbing. And, and also, the last page of, of the Cobra, number one. Again, there's something weird about Omni. And I'm just afraid that one of these days, he's going to take control of the entire internet. And there are two great reasons for looking at Koba. In the anthology, I, I was reunited with Pat Olaf, one of the terrific pencilers that it, it's been my privilege to work with over the years. Pat and I did a, a, a small title called Spider Girl. You might have heard of it. And in Koba number one, I got to work with Rick Leonardi, a gentleman that I was privileged to work on Spider-Man a number of occasions and a few other things. Um, both of these guys are fabulous storytellers and um, you're going to really hate yourself if you miss, miss the opportunity to see their latest work.